Zero's on Watcher's Grave on uh, Nessus. He's currently settling the Braytech armor for each of the classes. I highly suggest you guys scoop this up. Doesn't matter what class you are. Obviously, there's pieces that are would take more uh, priority than, than other pieces. Like, for example, the Warlocks. I think you're going to want to get the chest piece, the boots, and maybe the helmet. Let's start with the chest piece. Chest piece is really good because it has an open-ended front. So if you want to showcase some boots, this is the great chest piece to do it with. If, speaking of boots, the boots are also really cool. Personally, I just really like how they look. Uh, the helmet is the only piece where I'm like, you can skip this if you want. I'm not a big fan of it. It looks kind of basic in my opinion. But I do know people would lo love that. And the bond and the arm are like the only pieces that I think are like the weakest portions of it. Just because the bond doesn't particularly look that cool. And the arms also kind of look a little basic. But that's also a positive because if you want to have a basic arm, this is really good for that. As for the armor pieces, uh, not a lot. You definitely don't want high mobility on the Warlock. This one's also not that great. The not great at all. And... I guess the boots are the only thing that's actually pretty viable. Uh, 28 recovery just base is pretty gr gross because once you masterwork this, it'll be a 30 and you pretty much can go up to a 40 if you go for all recovery, which is wild. As for the Titans, I think they're some of the best pieces they have in the game are from this set, specifically the boots and the arms, I think are some of the best in the game. And the chest is actually really cool as well. But you guys will see why I'm not the biggest fan of it. Personally, uh, the helmet, I don't like because the faceplate in the front does not change color at all, which is a huge bummer for me. And the bond or the mark is also like whatever to me, quite honestly. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's just like it exists. It's there. Uh, so let's get to the piece that I actually love. The boots are by far the best boots in the game for Titans. If you want to make a buff Titan, like a bulky Titan, you're going to use these boots. I just love these boots. Be aware that the yellow uh, stripes or whatever they're called on the sides they don't change color so just be aware of that the arms i also think are really good uh, if you want to bulk out your titan just be aware that on the sides of the arms there's yellow you cannot change the color of that either and then for the chest piece i actually think it's really cool as well if you want to have a bulky chest piece where like it has like a like it's triangle thing in, in front of your face it looks really cool for me but be aware that the yellow and white stripe on the front does not change color. So just be aware of those things. But for me, the arms and the boots are it's fine because it's not in your face. You, you have to like actually rotate your character to actually see that. But at the end of the day, it's so small that I can pretty much ignore it. Uh, as for the armor stats we're looking at, again, you're not going to want high mobility unless it's on a hunter. So high discipline is really cool. But a 20 on mobility kind of kills it for me. Uh, the chest piece is really good 23 on resilience you love to see that uh, other than that the recovery is a little too low for my liking uh for the chest piece uh it's okay i i would never get this but if you don't have something good then this is it'll be fine until you get something better and then another 22 resilience well this one was in 20, 23 so yeah this is pretty good uh high intellect high strength that's pretty cool uh, you'll have a 16 if you put it on recovery 18. Uh, it's fine I wouldn't get this just because I have other pieces that are much better, but if you don't have it then Yeah, just handle again Literally some of my favorite pieces in the game for Titan is this armor set So I highly suggest if you don't want to pick all of it up at least pick up the boots and the arms Those are legitimately some of the most some of the best fashion in the game for Titans and if you have enough I would say the chest piece definitely warrants a pickup just because again i personally think it's just one of the better pieces it has all the pieces that i talk about in pretty much every uh armor set that we review for titans uh the fact that it, it actually bulks up your back to the point where i feel like you'll actually be protected uh i definitely have to do some fashion with this it's just that this right here can get very annoying to fashion around so just be aware of that and as for the hunter, we also have a really good set. I think personally, the chest piece is probably gonna be the best piece from this because you can do a lot of cool things with it, with other cloaks. Uh, the boots, on my opinion, is not the best. Uh, it's it's definitely usable, definitely usable. If you're definitely going for a Arctic look, like a Arctic soldier type feel, this set's gonna help you regardless which piece you use, aside from maybe the arms, because the boots, look very arctic the boots uh specifically like the shoes look very arctic 
Uh, the cloak is pretty okay. I'm not the biggest fan of it just because without this specific chest piece, it looks weird as fuck. Uh, the helmet is also whatever's, but it also is really cool if you're trying to have that like juggernaut look because it does look like that to me. And I think personally, the arms are the weakest portion of this whole set. Uh, as for the armor pieces, we're looking at high resilience, high recovery. You definitely want high mobility, especially this season. High mobility and high resilience for your hunter is going to be something people are going to be going for, like something like this. This is actually pretty cool. I'm going to scoop that up because I don't have a high resilience and high mobility, if I remember correctly. Uh, Break Tech Winter Cloak. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of this one personally, but I know some people have made this look really good. Uh, the helmet. It's fine. Uh... High mobility and high recovery. I mean, they're at the 10, so they're not super high. But what's really cool is all like all of the more, more important pieces are at 10, uh, aside from resilience. I personally would go for more resilience on this one. And then 24 on mobility and everything else is pretty terrible. So boots are fine, I guess. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I personally love all of, our, all of the armor from the Mars DLC, uh, specifically Warmind. I think that DLC was just really good for armor because we got Escalation Protocol, we got World Armor, we got uh, the Mars Armor. Don't get me wrong, we didn't get everything I wanted, but we also got one of the best sets from Iron Banner, uh, the ornaments from that season. So. Personally, I definitely think this is a dub. You guys definitely should pick up these pieces, at least the pieces I think are viable. Uh, but if you guys want to pick up all of the pieces, by all means, I would probably do that instead just because having more variety never hurts. And again, you might never know when something looks really cool. As for the armor or the weapons, we're looking at Zen Moment and Demolitionist for Enigma's Draw. Cold Denial with Killing Wind and Multi Kill Clip. Farewell with Heating up in Thresh, Seventh Seraph with Quick Draw and Shield Disorient, Deafening Whisper with Ambitious Assassin and Auto Loading, which is a really weird combination. Uh, Falling Guillotine with Relentless Strike and Whirlwind Blade, which if you don't have that, that's gonna be the the play. And Third Axiom, which I'm not even gonna, I, I'm not a fan of Third Axiom. As for armor pieces, Celestial Nighthawk with a 27 Resilience. That's pretty cool. Uh, I actually might pick that up just because I'm going for a high resilience hunter this season, although Celestial is pretty, pretty terrible. So I don't know if I'm going to pick it up or not. The insurmountable skull fort with high resilience and high strength, which you do, damn 28. That's pretty good. And then crown of tempest, which is very mid. So the other exotics we're looking at is opening shot, which is pretty fire and snapshot sites, which is pretty fire as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are you guys going to pick up in the, in, and all of this let me know in the comments below i am currently working on a few things first and foremost a person has asked for this exotic and i'm gonna have to work with it uh so wish me luck i'm already working on it uh i have i think one set so far i think i'm gonna do two or three sets since that exotic does not have any ornaments so hopefully i'll feed you guys enough sets where you guys can fuck around with it but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all the links in the description below. Thank you all for coming up to this point. And again, if you guys like the video, uh, a subscription would be appreciated because a large portion of people that come to my channel are just not subscribed. So again, if you can do me a favor, I'd be very much appreciated. And yeah, all the la la la. I'll see you guys later.